Hey everybody, it's your friend and your brother, Elder Ferris. And um, I wrote something a while ago, and with the close of the year coming up, I wanted to share it with everybody. It's my new philosophy for 2015 and beyond. It's called, I plan to fail in the coming year. Ready? Here goes. A new year is almost here. And I must say, I've seen my share of successes this year. I've made a number of new acquaintances. I've had many new doors of opportunity open for me. I've accomplished things I never thought I could. I guess you could say that in some ways this has been a banner year for me. Of course, I've also faced my share of downs. But those aren't all that important right now. Because while reflecting on and being grateful for my successes recently, I was sitting in a bookstore sipping on, a, I think it was a peppermint white chocolate mocha, and I had a paradoxical moment. I decided that the labor to achieve success was no longer worth it. In that instant, I said to myself, success is overrated. So much hard work only to discover that things don't always go like you plan it. So I decided to change my flow and do everything in my power to no longer succeed. I realized that it didn't take much hard work to mess things up. I decided the easy route was the route I was going to take. And then as I sat there, I thought, you know what? There may be other people out there who are tired of being successful too. So I decided to take a moment and share 25 personal and professional tips to help all of us who fall in this category to fail in the coming year and from now on. Now, for the few people out there who disagree with my plans to fail in the coming year, you definitely don't want to listen to the rest because my plans can be a bit extreme. Ready? Here goes. Number one, don't be friendly. Friends have the potential of walking away from you. Who needs that drama? Then again, they could also be great allies in tough times. But who cares, right? Number two, avoid building personal and professional networks. One of the best ways to limit your net worth is to limit your network. Number three, make sure you are disloyal. Loyalty in people is so outdated. These days, it's every man for himself. Or is it? Number four, absolutely do not prepare for future opportunities. This assures that opportunities will always pass you by. Number five, blame others for everything. So what if it was your poor choices that got you in the situation? This assures that you will never take responsibility for changing your present situation and failure is imminent indeed. Number six, never forgive anybody that hurts you. Walk around carrying anger and bitterness for the rest of your life. Of course, your lifetime could be cut short because bitterness only kills the one who's carrying it. Number seven, have a vision, but do nothing with it. As long as your plans remain good intentions, you've already failed because you didn't try. Number eight, if you do start something, give up halfway through. Starting but not finishing is like having a car with only three wheels. You definitely won't go very far. Number nine, procrastinate. Always put off for next week the things that have to be done today. And then come up with the best excuses in the world why you didn't do them. If necessary, skip down to step number 21. Number 10, avoid hard work at all costs. Pawn it off on somebody else or just don't do it at all. Number 11, get rid of all trusted confidants and wise advisors immediately. After all, they're just going to get on your nerves when they get behind you and start pushing you forward. Number 12, why be kind and compassionate when you can be selfish and self-centered? Life is all about your happiness and your well-being, right? Say this with me. No one else matters. It's all about me. Number 13, 
Reminisce on all the bad decisions you've ever made in your life and then repeat them over and over and over again. Number 14, constantly remind yourself of those mistakes and then beat yourself up about them. People may mess this up by reminding you that you've got potential. Ignore them. Stay stuck in your past. That's the only way you're going to fail. Number 15, while you're at it, throw the biggest pity party you can. Invite everybody to join in your pity party. After all, what good is misery without company? Number 16, doubt yourself and doubt God. Obeying him means you can't fail. So the smallest amount of doubt will help you to avoid obeying him and assures that you will fail. Number 17, do not waste time praying. I mean, if you do pray, it just might work. So if you're planning to fail, you don't want to risk that, do you? Number 18, your health doesn't matter. So pay no attention to the ads that say smoking's bad for you, don't drink and drive, don't text and drive, don't do drugs, eat healthy, exercise, ignore any ad that says anything like that because your health doesn't matter. Number 19, burn every bridge and forget the bridges that brought you over. I mean, who needs people anyway? Number 20, Forget about having a financial plan. Spend everything you have so you have nothing left to fulfill the dreams and the vision that you have for your life. Listen, listen. impulse buying is your friend, especially if things are on sale. 21, honesty is never the best policy. Lie, lie, lie. This assures that you fail because people won't trust you. 22. Be a hater and be as judgmental as possible. Jealousy and judgment are the order of the day. At least in your own eyes, you're better than everybody else. That has to count for something. 23. Never be the student. Always be the teacher. If you aren't teachable, you can never grow. Growth means progress, and that's what we're trying to avoid here. 24. If there's gossip to be shared, make sure you spread it as far as you can, as fast as you can. Don't worry about whether it's true or not. Facebook is a phenomenal way to do this. Just post it on your wall and watch people's character be destroyed. At your hands. You did it. If Facebook doesn't work, the telephone is a time-tested uh, agent, and it's proven to work. Number 25, do not love yourself. So what's your valuable? So what? You're special. You don't need to think about that. You don't need to reflect on that. You're trying to fail here, remember? Well, listen, this plan only works for those who want to fail in the coming year. I guess for the rest of you who actually want to succeed, in 2015 and beyond, you should do the opposite of these steps to experience, success, uh, to experience success and greatness beyond your wildest dreams. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized something. If you follow this plan to fail and you actually fail, then that means you were actually successful at something which nullifies all of the tips I just gave you above. I guess if you're going to go through all the steps to fail, you might as well just go ahead, put the energy, put the effort in to go ahead and succeed. I mean, after all, you only live once. Make it count.